I hate to admit it, but I got a little too excited, but that's okay because my van now looks amazing. That's right, baby. I got some off-road tires on it and even better, these are the wheels off my Toyota Supra. They fit right up because this is obviously a Toyota as well. So same hub size, same bolt pattern, and oh my goodness, the car looks amazing. So today we have a lot of work ahead of us because I actually want to try to get the car registered tomorrow, which is a Friday. Today is Thursday. And we have a few things that we need to get done beforehand. To start off, we need to replace the hood and I actually am going to re be replacing both of these fenders as well. I was online at Facebook Marketplace looking for some car parts, trying to find a new hood. And I found a guy with a blue Sienna selling a hood. And I was like, I will drive up and get this right now. So I went up to get it and his van was actually silver. So I went ahead and got the hood and then they had the fenders there. And the guy said, hey, you might as well take some other stuff while you're here. Cause this van's just going to the dump after this. Cause it'd been hit in the back and they'd already pulled the motor out of it. So I was like, all right, I'll take the fenders as well. So now this saves me the work of having to redo this area and these areas, which are just starting to rust. So that's going to save me quite a bit of effort. I'm going to replace all three of these. And then of course the front bumper, I could have taken from there, but this, this will do for now. Once we get those off, the next thing we have to do is we have to do the brakes. We need to bleed the brakes again. So I got myself some new dot three brake fluid. That's going to be nice. We're going to have to bleed those and we'll be all set to go in those regards. And then we only have two more things from there. The last two things that we need to do is we have spacers coming in that are going to move these wheels out just a little bit because the gap is still a little less than ideal. It's still sitting inside just a bit. In addition to that, I do want to semi correct the front alignment. I don't know how well you could tell, but it's actually leaned in fairly bad on this side and even worse on this other side. So I want to get it bent out before I go and take it to get registered. So that way, even though it's not going to be perfect, it will be at least in the semi right direction. That shouldn't be too hard because it should be as simple as just twisting the camera what we have in there, which will make life so much easier. Let's start with the hood and the fenders and get those replaced and we'll meet up then. I got the sun killing my eyes right now. So uh, I'm really just ready to get to work. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Oh, here we go, 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 let us heal and grow. You won't be alone, we're unstoppable. Don't be afraid to show what we're I got everything off the front. I realized this would be the perfect time to work on the alignment because it's the easiest access we're gonna get. And also this will give me a chance to give everything else a once over look just to make sure everything is connected and working well. I did also find what I believe was causing the knock and I think it's this tie rod down below. It looks like it just wasn't quite tightened up all the way. Now the weird thing about this is that it goes at a really steep angle here. I'm not entirely sure, but again, that's how it's supposed to be. Even on the instructions, that's how it, how it's hooked up. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up more. Hopefully that'll eliminate the knocking. And then we gotta get that tire to go straight. And no, the camera's not tilted funny to make it look worse. That is, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work on getting this all sorted out in the front. I'm actually not gonna do a time lapse for this one just because there's no real way you're gonna be able to see it. So jump cut. Update time. So I put this wheel back on and it is much more straight. If you look at it now, it's looking pretty solid. Now it is lowered pretty well because uh, because I set this down on the tire over there. So the reason that we're doing this now is because I realized I got to bleed the brakes anyway and that's going to require all the wheels coming off because I can't access the calipers with the wheels on. Or at least I don't think so. Oh wait, maybe I can. I can't access the front wheels with them on at least then. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up the other front side of the vehicle and then we're going to go ahead and bleed all the brakes and get that all taken care of and then get these wheels back on. Slight detour, but this is going to save us about 15, 20 minutes later down the road. So now it's time to actually fix the brakes. Let's get the brake fluid completely flushed out. It's so weird to see this actually looking like an actual van. It's got a front bumper hood that matches, bumpers that match. This is this is weird. For whatever reason, the alignment still is whack. Like, I, I don't know what's going on with that. That's kind of bugging me. But the rest of it is looking pretty good. So there's a few more things that I want to do. The first thing is I want to try to get some sort of grill in the middle here because there's just, there's just nothing going on in here. It's all blank. Another thing that I want to do is to make the front bumper a little more secure. It's on well, but I want to just, I want to get some more supports on there just to be sure. And then we also need to replace this mirror. I've got a back of one that is a different color but this one had the glass fall out so i want to at least get something on even if it's not the same fanciness because this was the top top model and this one isn't so i just want to get that on so we're going to go ahead and get that on slap all this trim on and then we're going to at least have ourselves a complete van it's something that could be registered so i'm going to hopefully again do that tomorrow i'll take it for a test drive with the brakes make sure they're good i'll probably drive it back to my place tonight get it all cleaned up and uh 
schedule ourselves in alignment, but this is, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and get this mirror on and then we'll take a next step from there. With everything back on and good to go, it's actually now time to take our obligatory at this point test drive around the property to make sure everything is working just fine, make sure our brakes are doing A-OK -okay, and that we are good to go. So let's go ahead and hop inside and get this going. All right, we're in and uh, gonna give it a go. Do we have brakes at all? Oh yeah, brakes feel great. Is that, I'm getting weird noise from the rear. I'm wondering if it's the exhaust hitting the, oh, now it's kind of going away. Ooh, no noise off-road. Okay, so the tie rods were the only issue in the front, which that's good. That's really good. Just running like a champ. <laughs> the seats behind me are bobbling around because I couldn't figure out how to hook them in correctly. Oh, it handles hills like they're nothing. All right, well, it looks like we're pretty good to go. So pretty much what I want to do next is get a grill hooked up, try to get something to semi-fit in the look. I'm going to run over my tools, aren't I? Oh rip, oh well if I do. And then when I get, once I get the grill started out, I'll be able to take it on a more legitimate test drive around, hopefully schedule alignment and get it ready for registration tomorrow. So fingers crossed, knock on the fake wood in the van that that goes well, but we're gonna go ahead and get that front grill looked at now. So let's go ahead and get that going. So I'm not looking to do anything crazy with this front grill. I just kind of want something that'll cover this area here. And I think I have something already that should be able to fill that up. Well, we're immediately having to scrap this plan because it just wasn't big enough. So here's what I was thinking. And I'll have to get something that'll fit probably later down the road because I don't wanna go get it right now. So I'd rather focus on just making sure everything is working well. The idea is to take some fencing like this, stick it behind, rattle can it black, and that'll just fill it out. Give it a little bit of a sporty look as well. But in the meantime, I don't mind not having that on. It's a fix we want down the road, but that shouldn't at all cause us any problems with getting it registered. So other than that extent, still just waiting on the spacers to come in, but we're pretty much set to go. At this point, the car is in pretty good working order. So I'm actually gonna drive it back to my house now, get it all cleaned up, get it ready to go to the DMV tomorrow. So let's uh, let's go for a drive back on an actual road and see how this goes and hope we don't get pulled over for not having any license plates because that would be inconvenient. All right, we're ready to go ahead and take it back home. It's got a DVD screen on the front. I didn't know this is even legal. It's probably not. Sorry, the angle's not the best, but this is as good as it's going to get because I just want to make sure that I could actually look at the road on the way home. There's a black and white Forester or Explorer right in front of me. And I thought it was a cop for a second, but it's not, so we're okay. Oh, brakes are great on this thing. Holy Moses. That flush did wonders. One minute away, sitting at a red light, hoping and praying a cop doesn't pull up behind me. <gasps> we now have both of our project cars at home, including the 3000 in the background, and now the Miata's over at my parents where I was working on this. But, oh, this is cool. <laughs> the front bumper actually doesn't match too unbadly if you don't look at it. So what's next? 